Hi everyone, my name is Vincent Go and uh, welcome to this new video about uh, Substance Designer 5 uh, Terrain Maker series. Uh, this is the part 4 of uh, this tutorial, so in case you didn't see the, the previous videos, I invite you to click on the link uh, which should appear somewhere on the, sc on the screen. Um, so basically, uh, this series video is uh, about making a terrain uh, inside Substance Designer. Um, a bit like in wall machine, uh, of course, with not with all the options that you could find in in wall machine, but at least you can uh, obtain some uh, interesting results directly inside Substance Designer that uh, you can reuse uh, later on on Unity or other uh, game engine. Uh, so in the previous videos, we have seen basically how uh, to make a convincing uh, mountain just inside Substance design, uh, Designer, sorry, just by painting them like that. So if I do that, for example, we have a nice mountain. Uh, we have seen also how to obtain the shape and how to tweak it uh, in order to fit with what you uh, what you need. Uh, today what we are going to see is how to, to add snow to this mountain. So it's more... <coughs> sorry, still sick. Uh, it's more about... Um, texturing really right now we could say that we have a satisfying height map I have to be careful when I say height map because uh, my English is uh, my accent is a bit too Frenchy sometimes so basically once we have that we we have done all of this stuff so we have this you have this part which is basically the the raw mountain we made a first part here which is to add a bit of er erosion in order to get more less uh, sharp shapes and we just made a, a, a smooth fast uh, terrain just for because it's better to work like this and you have a, a ground which is there so right now how let's go and make some snow so in order to make some snow what we want is to have some snow but which goes up uh, to a, a specific height, so we are going to use the height map in order to fit that. But first thing first, as we want to change the color, we are going to add a diffuse output. So you do spacebar out output here, and you set it to diffuse. So you do right click view into the viewport, and you have nothing because nothing is plugged yet. So what we're going to do is first to do blend mode with two uniform colors. So, and space by U. So far, we're going to do one which is going to be white, which will be the snow that we put on top. And the other one is black, so we are going to leave it as is. And we plug it here. So if I do view 3D output, hmm, for some reason it doesn't work. Let me check that. Is it diffuse? Yes. The output is here. Output to ah, because I already have a diffuse here. Sorry about that. So let's do it this way. And everything should be white because there is no everywhere. So what we are going to do right now is to define a mask in order to put snow where we want. So let's collapse this and this. You just click on D to do that. And we keep it this way. So as we say we are going to make some space here. Like that, like that. So first what we are going to do is to use the height map which is there, but as we want to get some color, if we put the height map here, we'd have some snow but as a gradient, and of course th that's not what we want. First, we want that it's more, it's uh, the, the mask is sharper, because either we want snow or we don't want snow, but we don't want like uh, uh, transparent snow, so we are going to use an histogram scan to make a first a first path, so I'm going to do it here, and 
I'm going to plug uh, the hate map, actually this hate map here. After the erosion in the hate map, and of course, first I put it at 0 0.5. And I'm going to plug it here right now. And so far it's exactly the same because you have to push up a bit the contrast. And now, actually, I'm going to push it really hard. So right now we have some control, meaning that if I move the position, you see that the more I move it, the more snow we have, which is a good start. It's a bit upside down in the setting, so when you expose it, you you could change that uh, by creating a small function. You do one minus this setting, and it will work in the, let's say an obvious way. But we won't do it now. So once we have that, what we are going to do is uh, to control a bit more where we want snow. So first thing first, what we want is to get more snow um, where um, the the mountain is a bit more horizontal. So we are going to control this first with the vector warp, which is a new node. So vector warp here. And what we are going to do is to use this map here. And we are going to reuse this. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to create a new normal map here based on this. And we're going to push it a bit more to 15. And we're going to plug it here. So, what we will do, it will do is it will push a bit the snow, a bit too much right now. But. Uh, see that we are going to diminish that but we are going to plug it here and you see it starts to push the snow according to to the, surf the surface so the more horizon vertical it is the more it push the the snow so it gives something really interesting because it means that where it's really vertical you have less snow where it's horizontal, you keep all the snow. So this is something really organic that gives a really good first result. But maybe sometimes it's a bit too too sharp. So what you may want to do, I'm going to do something like that. I'm tweaking a bit right now. So I'm doing this, I'm going back to the histogram scan, I'm trying to see and you see, it, now it's really interesting because the vector warp really allows us to place the the snow on the horizontal part. So we have this. I'm going to. So just with these two nodes, you you already have something really interesting. What you you want to do now is to add another node, which is the slope, which is going to to push this according to to the height map height map so you do like this you you just plug the vector warp inside the slope blur and you reuse the height map which is here oops sorry and of course it's too strong so you can push the sample at the at the max if you don't have any performance problem we're going to put this to zero just to test it first and right now if you look closely if I push a bit the intensity here to way too much but if you push it a bit like 0 0.04 maybe you see it's as if the snow has just uh, moved on the, on the cliff a bit so it gives a, a pretty nice result maybe it's too, it's too strong 0.02 should do the job. Yeah, so it's uh, a bit smoother, uh, it's a bit more uh, logical. Let's say it's as if the wind maybe have, has pushed a bit the the and the elevation as well. So here we have something that is quite cool. Right now you can play a bit to with the histogram scan, as we say, to to check how much you want to know or not. So here, for example. 
So this is fine, but another thing that we would like to have is, um, for example, when it's really horizontal, we would like to say, hey, uh, here there may be an accumulation of snow, which means that the relief is less visible and the, because the snow make it smooth. So that's a, another part we are going to do right now. So first we are going to create a frame from this. So our space bar add frame that we are going to call snow. And we are going to put it here. And right now what we are going to do is to instead of changing we could change change the the height map directly directly here, but it would be either too strong or not visible enough. So what we are going to do is we are going to do it in the normal map. We are going to blur the normal map at some specific part and uh, it will give the, the result of a, a smoother snow. We are, going, we are going to see that. So what you need to do first is to... Um, let me check so I don't know anything stupid. So we have the snow. So this we are going to use as the snow mask. So let's do it. So what you do is you take your height map that you like. And first you create, you blur it. So we are going to use a blur HQ grayscale. We are going not to push blur it that much, maybe maybe three, we are going to tweak it later. And we are going to blend it. So here with the regular one actually. So this is the mask that is going to define where exactly we want the, the blur to, to appear. So we are going to use the snow here as the blur mask. And we can make already make a, a first test. But actually no, because I wanted to plug it in the height map. But if you do that, um, let me check that. Uh, yeah, if I plug it here, for example, it would be way too strong. Look, you see, first because the mask is not visible enough, I guess. But anyway, that's not what we want. So let's put it back. This we're going to generate normals from this. So to do that, we're going to make some space and say, okay. I want to. Oh, look at that. I forgot to put the snow here. Hmm. Something there is something that I don't like is actually the snow is here, it's fine, we are happy with that, it may be too strong. This shouldn't be that strong. Let me check. We're going to check after. Okay. So what we're going to do actually is we are going to add another mask which is um, based on the um, normal facing up which means the the the, pla the the place where the the normal map the the snow will accumulate so what you can do is to use the facing normal node like this you plug it here sorry you are going to we are going to reuse the normal which is here, which is the same, and now you can see that all the white parts are, are the parts where uh, the snow is supposed to accumulate. So when you do this, okay, that's where I made my mistake. So we're going to multiply this with uh, with the blend node first. So we are going to remove all the ground where we don't want snow. So to do that, we take the snow here and we put it as a mask. Right now we go from this to that. So it really keeps the facing normal where the snow is. 
and as you see it's a bit harsh, it's a bit strong, we are going to blur it sorry, I'm going to move a bit so let's put a blur here I still want so we are going to try something like that and now what we are going to do is we are going to use two normal maps that we don't want to plug together one will be the, um, the this blur normal map and one will be actually this one that we can reuse another time oops actually we are going to I'm going to create another one it's not the most optimal one because we have it here but just for the clarity of the tutorial so let's put it at 20 for example let's put this as 20 as well so we have two normal maps this one and this one as you see this one it's subtle but it's a bit more rough compared to this one so what we are going to do right now is to blend them together so we use a normal blend sorry not that So you use the normal blend which is here. So we are going to put the blurred one here, the harsh one here, and we are going to use this mask. And this we are going to put plug it directly we are going to combine it with just the floor. So from here what we are going to do is another normal which is this one we are going to put it at 20 as well and now we are going to blend these two normal blend again actually uh, normal, com um, normal combine should do the job for this Okay, so let's see what we have. So basically here we see, we already see that the snow is a bit smoother at these points, you know, everywhere where it's more horizontal. In order to see it better, what we're going to do is to go here and let's move back the opacity. So here we see that it's quite harsh, we see, still see the relief, but if I move from this that hmm, maybe it's the best example. Here we see it more. This here, trying to find a good. Okay. Okay, maybe here we. Can... Okay, here it's better. So right now you see that here, if I play with the opacity, you can see that the more snow there is, uh, the more you put snow the smoother will be the relief. You can even push it more just by playing with the intensity of the blur here. It's not really obvious but get some um, let me check here. We have a blur HQ grayscale here. Yeah here if you push it it will be way smoother. So that's a way of controlling how smooth you want the snow. So here we go. I'm going to clean it a bit because so here we have the snow. I'm going to move that a bit. We have the first part of erosion, the flat ground that we're going to put here. And as we say, it's a bit messy here because I just wanted to touch the normal map and not uh, and not the um, the height map. So I had to create few normal maps here. For example, what I can do right now I can just plug this one here in order to remove one I will do clean so you generate a normal map here 
just after the erosion from this it allows me to generate the snow here just using an histogram scan to define the the current height and the vector y to be sure that the snow is placed more on the horizontal part than the, the other ones this is something that once again you can tweak if you want more that the snow cover more stuff you can play it here and the slope just add some uh, some um, uh, blurry but uh, blurriness but according to, to the elevation then once we have done that we are going we are making the tweaking of the normal map in order to be sure that when there is lots of snow and especially on the horizontal par parts the the normals are smoother so giving uh, impression that the relief is really hidden by the snow so that's it for this tutorial i uh, hope it can be helpful it has been helpful so on the next one i w i think for the texturing part it, it will be um, over because i don't want to spend too much time making the grass and stuff like this uh, what we are going to do um, i think we are going to see how we can use all this work and uh, combine it with uh, an ocean ocean uh, a sea um, so basically to get something which is uh, like that so reusing this mountain and getting something like this so especially how we can make this part here the shader is not tweaked but the, the blue part and so basically what we are going to do is reuse all of this uh, create um, a, gra um, a substance from this uh, uh, reuse this graph in another graph basically so I hope it has been useful uh, once again I'm showing you the result once you have done that I invite you to find uh, the, the proper uh, value to expose for you here for example I would definitely expose uh, the this to set up the lever of the snow if I want a few snow a little snow or a lot or even a lot so you can define that that's something you want to control and after also I will expose how this which is like how how much you will have on the inclination like this for example if you want some snow or let's say it has been a, a really strong winter like in Quebec this year and you, you may want more like that Okay, so that's it for this tutorial. I hope you like it. Once again, don't hesitate to reach out, to put some comments if you have any questions. And uh, see you in the next tutorial.